Welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today I want to talk about a important aspect of Logic Pro X and that is your audio preferences. Now I can't exactly tell you what your audio preferences should be because it's going to be specific to what you have hooked up to your computer. But I can show you um, the possibilities that are out there and where to find them. So um, if you want to change your audio preferences, i.e. where sound comes from and where sound goes in when it's used in Logic, you'll come up to Logic Pro X, come down to Preferences, and select Audio. Now, this should always have, whether you're in Advanced Mode or not, an Output Device and an input device. So where is the sound coming from? Where is the sound going? And I can't change this right now or you're going to stop being able to hear me in this video. But my input device for me is called the Audient ID14. That's my audio interface. That's where my microphone is attached. That's the name of the device. If you're in my computer lab here at my school, then that device needs to say audio box USB. That's a PreSonus device. That's where your microphones are going to be attached. Here at school, we like to use our headphones uh, straight from the uh, sound card on the computer. So our output device would say built in output now that's where the sounds coming from for the input device where the sounds going to the built-in uh, output that's the headphone jack so we can automatically do that there are lots of different choices that i have in my system from external headphones to macbook pro speakers all sorts of stuff so i've got this as a multi-output device right now because that's how you can hear me as I talk through this. But my input is just my microphone, which is coming from my Audient ID14. The other bit of audio preference is your input-output buffer size. Now, 256 is a pretty good place to start. Um, if you're tracking um, vocals or tracking... Uh, with a guitar or something, you want to try to keep it at 256 if your computer will run it. Um, when you're completely done tracking vocals and you're starting to add a lot of plugins and different things, if you want to reduce the load on your computer, you can certainly bump that up to 1024. Um, if you try to record with your buffer size at 1024, it's going to have a significant amount of latency or lag in the software it's going to be extremely hard to play in time with the performance so just bear that in mind but that is the audio preferences where you'll find them and what they do i uh, hope that helps if you're setting up logic